So my friends, let's start our journey with the spine straight and hands in the center of the chest and eyes closed and let's connect with the coming and the going of the breath. <clears throat> that which comes, that which goes. And as it comes, it brings life. And as it goes, it, life, it brings along life back, connecting with that which comes and goes. And as you are connecting with that which comes and goes, I want you to also connect with the one who sees this coming and going. I repeat, first become aware of that which is coming and going. Then become aware of that which witnesses this coming and going. If I was to reframe this, become aware of the awareness which is aware of the coming and going. I repeat, become aware of that which is aware of this coming and going. It's called returning back to your being. There's a presence in you. There's a living presence in you that never leaves you. Everything seems to be coming and going. The sensations of your body are coming and going. You're never with one sensation all the time. Your perceptions are coming and going. Your thoughts are coming and going. The world comes and goes. So your experiences at the realm of the body, at the realm of the mind, and the realm of the world. These are the three realms in which you dream, my friends. Eyes closed, become aware. These are the three realms which you have dreamed out of yourself. You are dreaming the world. You are dreaming the mind. And you are dreaming the body. Now become aware of that which is dreaming or spinning this out of itself. There's an essence in you which is spinning out experiences, which is spinning out of you, this existence or this reality. The reality that you are, the presence that you are, is being borrowed by the world to exist. Your presence is being borrowed by the mind to exist. Your presence is being borrowed by the body to exist. Now this essence, which comes not, goes not, is there with you with every perception, with every sensation, with every hallucination, with every realm. It is called Ajuni. <clears throat> Ajuni. Ajuni means that which comes not, goes not. This space in you, this presence in you, this being in you is Ajuni. And it is Sabhang. It is self-sustained. Your every experience need this being to be. Your every sensation needs this being to be. To be, your every perception needs this being to be. But this being don't need anything to be. It is a self-sustained, sabhang, sabhang it is called. It is self-sustained, self-illuminated. Sit in this, become aware of that which is aware of your body, which is aware of your thoughts, which is now aware of my voice, which is aware of the world. This is called Nam. <clears throat> this is called Nam. Nam means presence. Beautiful. <clears throat> 
become aware. Now, my friends, inhale and hold and see how this presence amplifies. It amplifies when you hold on to any movement. It amplifies when you hold on to any sensation. And that is why we hold the breath to become more alive, to be more present. You know, you are no, now you are more present. Did you, real, did you realize that? You're more present. You're present with yourself. You are impregnant your, yourself with the self. Hold it. And my friends, exhale. One more time, inhale. And feel this becoming more present. <clears throat> Your presence has been amplified. When you hold on to any thought, you hold on to any thought, for example, a mantra, and you are not concerned about anything else but just one thought, dhyana, your presence is amplified. And when you hold the breath, it's called pranayam, then again, this presence is amplified. So all these kriyas that you do, you will see something in you amplify. So the reason why we are doing all these practices is to amplify the being in you, the amplifying the presence in you, returning back home, self-realization it is called. And exhale. One more time, inhale. So the aim, hold. The aim of every Kriya, every Mantra, every Pranayam, anything that you do on the path of self-realization is to amplify the presence. This presence never comes, never goes, you know. Life is coming and going. And my friends, if you know this presence, a day will come when death will come and go and you still will be. I repeat, if you have seen life amplified in the here and now, you will see life is coming and going. And if you can see life coming and going, you will see death coming and going. And you will be awakened. It's a simple science. You don't need anything external. You just need to know what you are. And exhale. 